no, I didn't agree with the war, but the fact of the matter is, like, you know, I was a young man of a certain age, and my country was at war, and I would have a choice to make. Was I going to participate, or was I not going to participate? And I would remember that choice for the rest of my life. The invasion of Iraq brought Saddam Hussein's brutal regime to a swift end. What followed was a storm of chaos, out of which an insurgency was born. There were Iraqis, of course, in the insurgency, but there was a lot of foreigners coming from all over the Arab world, even from other non-Arab countries, even from the United States, from France, uh, Europe. Among those vying for power, one Jordanian man stood out. His name was Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. Al-Zarqawi is a product of the Jordanian prison system who had a dream of establishing a new caliphate, and he was bound and determined to do it. After America disbanded the Iraqi army, Zarqawi built one of his own, drawing thousands of fighters from inside and outside Iraq. The violence that Zarqawi preached was so appealing that people would come from all over the world to do the most horrendous and brutal things to people. It was a daily scene when you go out and see bodies dumped in trash. They tied the kids into rocks and they throw them in the river. They cut their heads. It was horrible. You're either with them or you're against them. If you're not with them or if you don't financially support them, you're dead by all means. Zarqawi called his group Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Today, we know them as ISIS. In the spring of 2004, Iraqi nationalists and Zarqawi's growing army seized control of Fallujah, just miles from the capital. These terrorists were armed to the teeth. No one could fight against them. Fallujah kind of like was pushing a lot of danger into the country, pumping, pumping, like constantly pumping. That was their safe zone. They, they, they'd go out and do stuff all over the country. If they could make it back to Fallujah, they were safe. It had to be stopped or the country will turn over to Al-Qaeda. By October of 2004, Iraq's prime minister ordered civilians out of Fallujah so Iraqi and coalition forces could retake the city. We are determined to clean Fallujah from terrorists. 90% of the population left the city, while thousands of insurgents turned it into a fortress. Early on November 9th, American and Iraqi troops entered Fallujah side by side. The next six days would be among the bloodiest in half a century. 